Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to No Man's Sky and today we're gonna be continuing where last we left off which is me forgetting to, I uh, just remembered, I'm me forgetting to actually resort the freighter inventory but that's fine, that's fine, that's all accounted for. Anyway, let's go to the Exocraft Technician and let's finish his quest line. Ah, the blueprints for your weapon upgrade are ready, interloper. Have you improved your scanning weapon yet? Yep, we have. The technician gives me blueprints for weapon upgrades, but as they pass them to me, an alert begins to sound on the terminal. They search. Their search is almost complete. A scan has found something. Sorry if I can't do the voice. Uh, that you choose this world of all worlds to make your home out of the infinite possibilities. I did not think it possible, but my scans have uncovered the truth. Now itself visited this place. We shall uncover their final words. This happens regardless of where you are, so Nal has visited every single planet in the No Man's Sky universe. <laughs> it's kind of funny to think about it, but I guess it's possible. Use your upgraded Exocraft signal booster to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Bring me the nanite clusters contained within, and I will use them to forge a new acceleration module for this for the trials ahead. The Viking claims that this Nal, the namesake of their cult, once visited my planet. I cannot know if this is true. I walk through the worlds of ruin and wonder at these people, at their obsession with their past, at the hatred that tore them asunder. I wonder what the future might hold, what secrets might echo out through the hub of creation. The technician requires nanite clusters to initiate their final ritual. They have an exocraft acceleration module waiting for my return. Tread carefully, traveler. In all abandoned things, there grows a rot. Take the nanite clusters and leave before something notices your theft. Eh. Eh. And we get nothing because we already have it built. I think. Oh wait, I just have to return to him? Alright, uh, so... Like, it just wants nanites, I suppose? Wait, the tr wasn't the trigger actually going to an abandoned building? Or is it because they changed the scanner? No, they haven't changed the scanner that much. You can still scan for depots. Hmm. Huh. Wait a minute. You, you're still a thing on this planet? Okay. Hmm. Alright. Have you obtained the nanite cluster? I guess you just have a couple of nanite clusters. <laughs> the hour draws late in your excel- <laughs> And your module waits. Uh, sure. The technician takes the nanite clusters as they hold them. They appear to enter some strange trance. After a moment, it is done. There is a strange look behind their eyes. Warrior Dewey informs me that they have taken communion with their ancestors. They know what they need to know. That was very quick. Traveler, my work is complete. I have overridden the ley lines. Charge their holy data. They have revealed to me a monolith, a tomb for the final prophecy. And this is where we uh, learn of Herc and Nal. If you got there before the ley lines close off, you and you alone will uncover the truth behind my species. The mystery of which Nal died. Or was it when? That didn't read it. A monolith has been activated. If I reach it quickly enough, I will gain this forbidden knowledge. Sure. The technician served their holy purpose, driven to obliterate their own personality in pursuit of this very day, this very moment. I do not know if their sacrifice will be in vain. Yeah, never fear, I'm pretty sure you can't fail the mission. I haven't, but I'm pretty sure you can't actually fail the mission. Wait, I just need to return to him? What? No, there's like seven minutes left. How far away is it? So, funny thing is, you could go with the Exocraft, which is the intended way, or... You could get into your ship. And go there. Up is down, down is up. Sorry. Just the cockpit was a little bit confusing. Yeah, again, there's like two ways. You can go with the Exocraft, which you should do fine with in terms of time, or you could just get to your ship and fly there, which is easier. Why am I in first pursuit? This is better. Actually, less confusing. And land. Perfect. Oh, let's actually read a couple of knowledge stones since we have the time. Oh, I've been here, haven't I? Yeah, I've been here. If I can't access these, I've been here. 
I want that one as well. Thank you. It's free condensed carbon. I'm not gonna pass it up. I approach the monolith. I am engulfed in this terrible truth. I see its words in the text of a thousand tongues in the ephem ephemera of countless stars? Okay, I must be misreading that. Uh, I'm still tired, by the way. I slept only like six hours. I'm improving, though. It's from four to six. It's, f it's perfect. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas where Herc had heard nothing. I witnessed events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before Red Glow, asking it of the universe. Submit or witness? Uh, I'm gonna witness. In their rage and their impotent jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain and I saw the truth of what the monolith has said. That my end would be an awakening. That in this dream nothing should perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me. And before the vision ends, I see a vision of something I have not seen before, of something that does not belong in this or any place of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come. I'm still gonna witness. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler. So it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of Null. I see the end of time, the end of all things. And in the crimson light there is a figure, its hand held out before eternity. I see all this and then it is over, the model has nothing more to show me. Okay. I leave shaken by my experience, as I go I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching, when I turn it is gone. Yeah well... I can barely turn because I'm still stiff but... And yes it's been going on for like a th three weeks now? Three weeks? Yeah three weeks, I really need to go. Go to a chiropractor or something. I've been I can't like turn around without moving my entire body and my neck is like absolutely stiff. It's been like week three. Been trying some uh, home remedies like laying down and doing nothing which doesn't work. <laughs> and massages and whatnot. <laughs> this is definitely helping. Hey, I haven't tried pills yet. I should. I've been meaning to do them. Yeah, to like pop a pill or two. I should have some. I do have a. Pres I do have prescription medicine for my back. I wonder if that'll help. It's supposed to uh, alleviate pain. Anyway, on to the topic at hand. Let's see what uh, Dewey has to say. About you know, what? I'm taking this. It's it's just annoying. It's too it's too big. We're gonna need that eventually. It's better to get it now than to have to farm it later down the line. I envy you, traveler, to see the words of Null itself grow. With the discovery, you have vindicated the action of a thousand martyrs, Traveler. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon our enemies. The Viking believes that their ancestor, Herc, received wisdom from a great monolith, initiating a war against the Sentinels and slaying Nal, the Objector. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision whilst Herc had been met with only silence, and in their jealousy, Herc murdered Nall. Yet I am left with questions, I am left thinking of the creature I felt watching me, I am left with dread. The technician offers me the Colossus Geobase schematic, of course I'm gonna accept it, what am I- are you kidding? It's free! The technician passes me the schematic, as they do, their eyes beam with pride and sadness. Well, I sadness. Pride, sure. They're proud of me for going to a model and coming back. Hello. I have transmitted Nal's testament to my brother and traveler. What you have learned this day will spread amongst the Viking. It will change our people for the better. Grah. And if violence is required for change, so be it. <laughs> of course. As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer an interloper. You are one of us. Now until the end of time itself. Enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. The technician waits anxiously to see my Colossus Exocraft in its full glory. I watch as they begin to forge an upgrade for my Exocraft mining laser, surrounded by schematics and charts. Of course I'm gonna agree to build it. The Colossus is a fine craft. They say Herc and Nal rolled one together before their end. Well, let's actually build it. Let's actually see how it looks, because they are modded so they look slightly different.
Wait, it's probably the wrong way around. Eh, does it look slightly different? I know the... Was it the Nomad? I think it might have been the Nomad that actually looked very different because of the mod. Yeah, it was the Nomad. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my. Oh, that is, that is lovely. That, that looks great. Oh, my. I like this. Yeah, it actually looks like a hover vessel as well because it doesn't have- eh, I guess those things standing up are fine, but it looks more futuristic. Of course, I love the fact that you can just fly with, it, with everything. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Not as fast as the buggy, but it's enjoyable. Hello, park. Thank you. Park, all right, let's leave it be. Does the Colossus scene change? I, I haven't used the Colossus. Hello, why can't I climb on top of it? Wait, what? Oh, it is changed. Okay, it is modded. If, I, if I'm uh, standing over there, it's it's taller, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably taller. I haven't actually used the Colossus in a year? An actual year? So I don't remember how it looks. <laughs> anyway. Let's see what he has to say about the, the Colossus we just built. Have you constructed the Colossus Geely? Have you struck terror into the hearts of all who oppose you? Yeah, confirm construction. Wow, a careful answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed on Life Traveler. You will subjugate the world with the power of the Colossus. Here is an Exocraft Vehicle Laser. Upgrade to assist with the task. That's a mining laser upgrade, though. Sure, whatever. I mean, it's fine. I have almost exhausted the limits of my work, but soon I, you shall have mastery of this planet's signals and the speed with which to reach any threat. I require only sufficient nanoclusters to build the final bl blueprint gra. The employment has been one of glory. Uh, are we actually done? The technician requires more nanoclusters to create an upgrade for my exocraft signal booster. Something is wrong. Some time ago, I saw the Viking with an image of their family before they performed some ritual to erase such attachments from their mind. As I approach now, I see the same image. The technician stares at it, blinking for a few moments with an empty expression. When they notice me, they remove the photograph from the display. We do not speak of it again. I do not wish to awaken their, their pain. They, they desire only nanoclusters, not my sympathy. Yeah, sure. As I said before, be careful in those abandoned buildings, Traveler. Do not lose yourself in the hunt. Well, we already have the nanite, so I just need to do like a lap of the building, so we should be good. Oh, that was quick. Didn't even get to do like half a lap. Okay, I picked the- I did the wrong thing. Oops. Do you have the nanite clusters? Give them to me, please. The technician's hand shakes. It is then that I notice the blueprint is already waiting on the technician's terminal. They require these nanoclusters for some alternative purpose. They are desperate for the substance, refuse to hand over the blueprints without them. I refuse. Ah, give them to me, interloper. You will give them to me. Ah, you don't get a chance. You don't even get a dialogue option to, like, you know, get to see what's happening. You just either give them to, to him or you don't continue the mission. Okay. Alright. Let's give them the nanoclusters. clusters. The Viking takes them greedily, turning to imbibe them. Whatever effect this matter has upon the alien, it appears to calm their movement considerably. Sated, they offer me the blueprint. That's the next upgrade. Sure. Well, can I get the box, please? I can't move. I am rooted. All right, that's better. The nanite clusters, their purpose is commonly misunderstood. They form the backbone of much technology, but they are not just machines. They can alter hearts, alter minds, even allow us to forget that which we cannot bear. I'm sorry about that, I just needed to clear my throat. It's getting a little bit tough. The technician has a final reward, an acceleration module upgrade for my Nomad Exocraft, once I have constructed its geobay, and I already have, so. Good, let me know when the Nomad geobay is built. Grah, I cannot wait to witness its glory. Let's see. Nope. 
I am probably not going to get the opportunity to actually do a lap, yeah. Our work is almost concluded, but every end is a beginning. I am too weak as to travel as I once did, too tired to continue my pilgrimage. With your leave, I shall remain here to stand by your by your side against your enemies. Gua. Woe be betide those who would transgress against us. <clears throat> ah, sorry about that. The technician offers me the final acceleration acceleration module upgrade. And of course we shall take it. It has been a pleasure working with you, Traveler. Return when you are ready. I have a proposition for you. A lucrative and repeatable venture. So, endless? Traveler, I have detected a location of monetary interest. Go that you may hone your control of the exocraft. Track the signal down before it disappears, so that we may siphon its units. The technician has hacked the terminal to siphon its units. If I get to the location fast enough, I will be able to transfer the units to my account. They spend their days doing the snail, tending to the exocraft, and drawing data from interplanetary networks. Sometimes I see them walking out into the planet itself to explore, but such times are rare. The technician is content with the retirement, engaging in fugitive activities for the pleasure of the chase, no longer for the necessity of survival. It is a game we can repeat one last heist after one last heist. Alright, we're gonna go on one. Hurry, go. And I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is endless now. Uh, how far away is that? Let's see. Where's the location? How far away is it? Oh, already gave me the location. Where is it? It's too far away. Let's go with the ship. Right, so apparently the last mission is just going to be infinite. Okay, that's good to know. Oh wait, we have been there, haven't we? That's uh, going next to our save point. I mean, I'm fine with that. Hmm. Oh, it's, so basically, you just need like nanai clusters and enough materials to build a couple of uh, you know geo bays, and that's it. And you can finish the technician in, like half an hour. Are you under? Are you seriously under? Seriously. Seriously? What's going on here? Alright, let's actually see. This is one of those uh, spots that I marked that actually dropped a lot of S-Class modules. Speak of the devil? Okay. Well, I'm happy. It means we're gonna check out the rest of the slot spots as well. There aren't that many, but... Uh, siphoning phones from... Okay, okay, okay. It's just, it's just an art generic text. They claim they can do this a thousand times and not be caught by any authorities. They hope this is my okay. How many units? Mm, I guess if this was really early, like extremely early, it'd be worth it. Do I actually get a mission? Go away. No, I actually don't get a mission to return. Yeah, I can just choose to go and talk to him and the mission will repeat. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so let's go for the yellow marker. Because that is where the next signal is. As where we're hopefully gonna get another S-Class module. Oh yeah, we need to go to the freighter as well. I just noticed it. I don't recall how far away these were, but they weren't too far away. They were like a minute off. Anything here? No. Yeah, there it is. Land. And let's see. What do I what did I actually get? Radiation protection module. Did I have one? Yeah, there it is. So that one's for sale. That's one way to get nanites. Okay, there's the viscous fluid. Yeah, okay. Sure. And there actually is one more. There was one more. I don't remember if it uh, gave an S-Class module, but there was one more. Oh, you're too close to my ship, aren't you? Aha! Uh -huh. Very flattened. There is a restaurant. Sleep. 
for some reason it lagged a little bit, but there it is. Alright, so there's one more of these to discover, and tomorrow, what we're gonna do is we have more more missions to do, and it's probably gonna be Dream of the Deep. Which uh, is gonna be the underwater missions. Oh, wait, wrong place, wrong place. Alright, that's better. We're going in the right direction now. Which is going to take us underwater. We have done this only once. Actually, this is the one of the missions that we've done only once. I didn't actually do it on the last permadeath one, I believe. Or did I? And just not remembered that I did it, it's possible. But it is uh, one of my, I suppose, least favorite. No, actually, you know, the companion missions are my least favorite. And the reason for that is they are unnecessary. Um, like, Hello Games have added so much stuff to the game that at this point, these missions need to be reworked. Like, some of them don't even properly work anymore, they're just, like, basically autocomplete. Just because of the way the game is structured. Just because most of the time you're not really gonna go and do these immediately. Like, not even I did them the first time immediately. Like, yeah, I started doing them, but there's some waiting period, for example, while you're waiting for the scientist, and by then you'll have most of the materials needed for the tactician, so you're just gonna spam through his stuff. Like... We did. So yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's just the way the game is. They are gonna have to redo those eventually. And if they do, I hope they actually... I. There is an idea in my head of uh, how I think these guys can be made to... Uh, well, not really fit the story, but fit the game more. Maybe they should be like, you know, giving you only one mission, or they could use them for daily missions. I think using them for daily missions, you know, have like a small quest chain for them, just so you can learn who they are and what they do around the base, and have them give you like daily missions for, let's say, 50 Quicksilver, and there'll be something like, oh, gather this plant for the uh, geologist, uh, for the technician, it could be like, raid this abandoned structure or something, and for the weapons expert, it could be like, kill three sentinels or something, you know, eh, that could be actually kind of fun, you know. It gives you something else to do without actually going to the Nexus, and it'll give you extra Quicksilver. Anyway, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.